Hi guys, this week's Money Monday is coming from Athens in Greece. This is the first time I've ever been to Greece and I cannot wait to come back here. Unfortunately, this trip I'm only here for a very short period of time, but I'm making plans already so that I can come back and explore this amazing city and country. So, in Australia, the financial year has just ended. And that means that everyone in Australia needs to sort of get organized and do their tax returns. Now, this video is not just for people in Australia, it's actually for everyone around the world and the importance of doing your taxes and understanding where you stand financially and being able to compare you know, how you perform financially and what you've earned and how, you, how much healthier your financial situation is. Um, you know, in comparison to the previous year and see, you know, are you moving in the right direction. Anyway, I was doing some research because I was interested to see if most people get this tax refund in Australia. And from, according to the research that I got from the government, the average tax return that Australian, um, the average Australian gets is around two thousand one hundred and I think sixteen dollars. And it made me think about, you know, what people do with their tax refunds. And from the readings um, I found, most people actually go and spend it or blow it on, you know, clothes or gadgets and things like that. But I realized that that's not the best thing that people could do. You know, you've had a come, if you get a tax re refund, that's a kind of a financial windfall. And you, there are so many better things you can do with that money instead of actually spending it. So I wanted to, this video is quite a simple one. I wanted to give you a range of different ideas that can help you financially um, by using your tax refund, if you get one, to your advantage. Now, the first thing is obviously is bills. If you've got some bills piling up and you're not feeling great about it and you've been putting them off, this is a great opportunity to, to face them head on and pay the bills or as many of the bills as you possibly can with your tax refund and get them over and done with and feel good about yourself. And because you've got those bills out of the way, it gives you a bit of space to get better with your cash flow and be more, um, I guess, prepared and proactive with managing your cash flow and paying your bills on time so that they don't sort of haunt you. The next thing is, if you do get a tax refund, is to use it to pay down toxic debt. So, for example, credit card. If um, you are in credit, have credit card debt that's been sort of looming for a while and you have a tax refund, just simply put the tax refund towards that debt and then make a plan to stay out of debt for good. The third suggestion is if you have a home loan and obviously no credit card debt or personal debt that's you know, really toxic, put that money towards your home loan. That simple $2,000, say $100, can make a huge difference and save you a large amount of money in interest over t and time. So definitely worth doing. The next thing is, is obviously, you know, investing in yourself. So maybe you look at using that tax refund to do a course that can further your level of um, education and give you more experience and opportunity in your career to progress to the next level. The fifth option is looking at using that tax refund and putting it towards your retirement or superannuation or 401k or pension plans wherever you're in the world. Now I know that sounds like quite a boring suggestion, but again, um, because of the power of compounding interest over the long run, the earlier you start contributing to your retirement plans and pensions and superannuation and 401k plans, the better and more secure your financial future should be. And the sixth and last um, idea for you as to what to do with your tax refund is start investing or, or, or buy more investments. Build long-term passive income streams so that you build a, a future that's much more stable, a lot more safe and secure and with a lot more freedom and luxury. So that brings me to my tax refund and I've um, already been on my accountant's case um, asking him, you know, I've given all my documentation and um, I've been fairly organized with uh, my finances. So I'm chasing him for my tax refund and I've decided I'm going to put $3,000 from my tax refund towards the $1,000 project. And obviously with that $3,000 I'll be buying long-term passive income streams through purchasing industrial blue chip stocks in the Australian stock market. Now if you've been following along with the $1,000 project, um, you'll know that as at, um, I've invested about $28,000 and that's all been money out of, um, that I've manifested 
beyond my salary or beyond my savings. And the project officially finished on uh, the 31st of July. And so I've got this $3,000 tax refund which I'll be adding to it. And I've got, I think, about two or three more jobs that I haven't been paid for, which I did a while ago, that will also be, um, be adding to, added to the share portfolio. So I'll definitely be giving you an update on that but um, in the next video. But I really want you guys to think about what you do with it. If you get a tax refund, what you do with it and try and use it to change your financial future. You have so much potential that exists within your hands. You just need to get up and use it. If you don't get a tax refund, that's okay. But I definitely recommend getting being on top of your finances. You'll feel so much better about yourself and then you'll know that if it ever comes to borrowing money, you've always lodged all your tax returns on time and you've got all the documentation required to be able to borrow money. It's so important to be able to look at where you stand financially from last year to this year so that you know you're growing in the right direction. Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I am leaving Athens unfortunately today um, and on my way heading home back to Australia. So I will see you soon. Ciao!